you guys have already seen the title and thumbnail, but before I get on with this video, I just want to let you in on a few updates for Among Us VR and Among Us. So the first thing we have for Among Us VR was posted up on November 30th by Skill Games. It says, announcing the gift wrap giveaway, get the gift of Among Us VR. And then the second one for it, we have patch 1.5 bug fix update note, which was posted up on December 5th by Skill Games. Considering that, that doesn't really serve any purpose for me. Uh, we're just going to go on reading through those, considering the fact of the plan that I made, the last video I made, uploaded. But, moving on forward to, we have the most important stuff, Among Us Compatibility Requirements, which is posted up on December 5th by Victoria P. Alright, then it says, Hi Trimates, as time moves forward, apparently 2017 was five years ago, and we continue updating the game, this means hardware requirements are going to change. We recently ran compatibility tests, Please check out the results so you're aware of what the requirements are for the game as of 2022. Put simply here what your device specs should be so Among Us works good. And then you have the different compatibility suggestions. So the first one we have here is for PC if you want to pause through and read these, considering the fact that these are too complex for me to understand. You can do that. And then we have the Android compatibility suggestions. And then last but not least, we have the iOS compatibility suggestions. So then it says at the bottom below, if you scroll down, what happens if my device doesn't meet the minimum hardware requirements? And then it says, good question, devices that don't meet our minimum requirements means we cannot guarantee that your game will work on it. You may run into crashes, lag, or the game might not even start at all. This is a normal process as time goes on, and new shiny tech is released. Games have to keep up with supporting both old and new devices and at some point the oldest devices become difficult or even impossible to support with their limited tech and space. This is even more prevalent with the phones. With phones. Right. We have a lot planned for you so making sure your device is updated, working and compatible. We will make sure you have the smoothest time doing your tasks or killing your friends. And remember, if you have any issues, you can always check our help desk for fixes or to submit a ticket to the team. Streaming into the void, Victoria. And then you get the very, very most recent one that they posted up on their website. Among Us December 9th by Chris D. New game mode, hide and seek is here, emergency meeting number 35. So, updates. Hey there, crewmates and imposters. Super excited to share a brand new game mode as a part of version 2022.12.8. Hide and seek. The, new, the, the team has been hard at work building this new mode, which brings some heart racing action alongside a classic social deduction form of Among Us. And then there's a video that they have posted up on that dot, uh, dev vlog in relation to that. So if you want to see that, I will leave a link in the description. And it says, I won't spoil all the surprises, but here's a mini guide on how to play. So, to start us off, it says, if you're a crewmate, your goal is to complete tasks to run down the timer and survive until the time is up to win. If you're the imposter, your goal is to eliminate all crewmates, normally. Uh, and it says, do tasks. They make the timer go down faster, and it says, Watch your danger meter. If the imposter is far away, the danger meter will be empty. The closer an imposter is, the more the bar will fill up. Red means they're really close. And the louder the music gets. Crewmates get a limited number of events in this mode, so use them wisely to escape. Final. Hide. These are the last few moments of the game where the imposter gets a power boost, special seat map, and a directional ping to where any surviving crewmates are. Crying. Screaming. Terrified. And that's hide and seek. It's been a blast getting to see the team take this from the concept born from our community into a full fledged mode. If you're looking for a full rundown on how mode works, check out our how to play guide or our in game tutorial. And then it says some more quick notes to add for hide and seek. PC. All key binds will be reset to default key bindings when the update is live. If you had them changed prior to the update, remember to go into the key bindings menu to change them. Uh, show names option, there's a new settings only for hide and seek. Uh, called show names, this shows users, usernames about the heads players. Turning this off can make it more difficult for imposters to find crewmates if they are hiding behind certain objects. Choose the imposter, private lobbies only. You can pick who the imposter is via a player's username or select round robin and let the game cycle through the players who are it. Choosing imposters is only for private games, so hosts can abuse this in public lobbies. Flashlight mode. If set to on, flashlight mode will be activated and all players will have control 
And we hope to control our tunnel vision, except off our players will have radio vision, and we'll be able to see in a circle around them. And then for our other notable changes, new game filter options. When looking for public lobbies or creating one, you are now required to designate what kind of lobby it is. Currently, there are four options. Beginner, casual, serious, and expert. For beginner, it says best for new players. Casual, best for players. Just looking to have fun and not take the game too seriously. Serious, best for players looking to win and play more deliberately. Expert, best for players who know among us well. And then it says no, filters will display with the exact options chosen. E.g. beginner and serious will find you lobbies tagged as both those items. It will not list lobbies listed only as beginner or serious. Pet your pets. You can now pet your lovable companions in game and in lobbies. Stand near your pet and hold down the button to pet them. New hot button. Guide. Wish you could track your friends or enemies easier to watch the end of the game. Our handy new hot button for ghosts allows you to do just that. Track any alive crewmate, imposter, or haunt your fellow ghosts. What's new in cosmetics? No update would be complete without some fun cosmetics to add to your roster, and this one has a ton. First off, we heard you. More cosmetics you can buy with beans. Well, get ready because the store now hosts a ton of new skins, nameplate, visors, and even pets. That you can only get by having enough beans. And speaking of pets, I just wanted to highlight my new favorite one to you, which is a literal nugget. Nugget pet. Nugget pet! Ahem. <laughs> anyway, of course, we can't close out this year without some winter holiday themed goodies for you all good crewmates and naughty imposters. The two snowflake and snowbean cosmic cubes are back in store alongside a new gift cube cosmic cube. The snowbean and snowflake cosmic cubes will be in store until January 1st, 2023, and the Gift Cube Cosmic Cube will be in store until February 1st, 2023. Be sure to grab yours when you can for some festive outings with your crewmates. Remember to check back in around New Year's Eve, too. There might be a fun little surprise waiting for you then in-game. Woo! That was a lot of stuff, huh? This has been a long time coming, and we can't wait to hear and see what you think. Remember to tag us so we can... Oh, and we have another super fun announcement. On Monday, December 13th, a special cosmetic of Benoit Blanc from Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery, is dropping. Just hop onto a moment before January 10th, and your sleeping cosmetic is yours. Keep reading as Chris and Joseph have some updates on bug fixes that also have come in this update. See you in the fun zone. Doors. Bug zone! Hello, Bean Lovers Anonymous. Hmm, Bean Lovers. Coffee beans? Do you think crewmates would make a good cup of coffee if you gently, lovingly ground them up? Anyway, Doors did a far better job of containing his excitement about a new mode than I ever could. Deep breaths. Not going to run around screaming about how cool and fun hiding seek is. Ahem. I do have some official technical adjust glasses. Things to share with you all in the form of a list of known bugs for hide and seek release as well as an announcement. Never fear, the list of bugs is rather short and you should all still have smooth sailings into the new mode. All platforms hide and seek. Players may get killed while in the middle of venting. All platforms hide and seek. Players may get stuck in lobby after selecting play again. All platforms classic. The first ejected shapeshifter is incorrectly considered a crewmate ghost in a 2 plus imposter match and will be given tasks to complete. All platforms, all modes. Colorblind text does not show up in quick chat messages from other players. And that's all. As always, if you encounter any issues, please reach out to us by submitting a ticket. And now for my little announcement. I'll be, tra- I'll be transitioning into a new role at Interslop as an associate producer. Rashes laughter from the audience. I've been training up our new player support guru, Joseph, and I'm excited to see him take the reins and chase so many bugs and support so many players. Boisterous cheering and standing devotion from the audience. Take it away, Joseph! Shrill cacophony from the orchestra as time and space begin to twist and bend. Attempt to speak while also unbending space and time. Hi, my name is Joseph and I'm the player support newbie. I'll be around helping you squash bugs and any other issues that come your way, including booting and postures. See you around. Thanks for reading, my good beans. Cheerio! With love and abundance of caffeine, Chris. Also, now that this update is out, I might be doing a video off of it really soon, so stay tuned for that. 
all right now hey guys super foxy ones welcome back to the channel as the channel we're back again with another little gaming video for this one we're gonna be playing this little game featuring garfield it's kind of like minion rush uh temple run subway surfers it's one of those type of games it's pretty much any game it's called garfield rush all right without further ado let's just see how far we can get out with this oh okay so uh he was eating out in the middle of the street and then this cat creature stole his food all right so it's giving us a little tutorial obviously but you already know we got this let's just see how far we can get Ooh, we got a little jetpack yeah see it's kind of like subway surfers <laughs> nice i mean shoot it's even got the freaking buses trains or whatever these are never mind they're buses all right so what's this we got a little portal we can jump into it's got a leaf above it where, where does this take us okay so it takes us to another area what's this okay i'm just gonna ignore that i missed a few of those coins all right just keep on running all right great um so what we're just running chasing after that black cat or whatever it's called i mean i used to watch a, the garfield series when i was younger but like I haven't watched it in years, so I can't really remember half the characters. I mean, obviously, I remember Odie, the little dog. But, like, even still then, I don't remember that much of the characters. Because that was just such a long time ago, and... This is the first time in the wild that I've seen anything in relation to Garfield, was this game that I found up on Google Play Store. So, you know, that's fun. Let's go get our lasagna back. And of course, obviously, Garfield's got this owner. Uh, what the frick was his name? Okay, it's John. John Arbuckle. That's what his name was. John Arbuckle was his owner. And, you know, <laughs> Garfield's got this thing, an obsession with lasagna. And, of course, he hates Mondays. But, like, who doesn't? It's that one time of the week that... Oof. Ain't nobody want to be associated with. Alright, now, anyways, what's this? It's another area that we can't go to because apparently we need, like, 13 of something unless it's, like, different levels that they're talking about, but who knows? Alright. Okay, uh, let me just get the gold. I just missed that one. Okay, we're moving a little fast here. Just all of a sudden. Okay, um... Let's try not to go too fast here. Alright, can we go into this portal? Another portal? Alright, cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, um... Let's just keep on going forwards and hope that we don't die. We're gonna try seeing how, how, how high our freaking score is gonna get without dying and plummeting into these pillars that keep popping up out of the ground. Uh, okay... Carefully, carefully. Okay, good, good. We're good. We're fine. My high score is at 5,000 at the moment, and that's not something I don't think I'd ever see. Unless, you know, I'm thinking of a higher number, because, you know, I used to play Subway Surfers a lot, and uh, if anyone has been keeping track of my second channel... Oh, shit. Hold on. Sorry about that, my stuff completely bugged out, and you know, I just completely lost all my brain cells. But if anyone's been paying attention to my second account, the MKK Lori, I haven't really been posting much on there because I've been more focused on uh, making videos on here and you know, just other stuff. But uh, yeah, I used to play some of on there, and uh, I was thinking, like, is my highest score up to like maybe past 5,000 or something? Because I don't really remember. Alright, uh, so apparently there's, like, different areas you can get, but we're gonna ignore that. We're just gonna keep on traveling. Alright, get your lasagna, you stolen, blah, blah, blah. And let's keep on going. And collect these coins. Of course, um, this is one of these games that I'm gonna be playing at random. Oh, uh, now that I say that, uh, about my, uh, second account and the Subway Surfers little miniature series I've been doing, go subscribe to me off of there. Remember to do that if you haven't already done that by now. 
Right now. Yeah, the double coins. Coolio. Alright. Now let's see if we can make it any higher than what I last made. Okay? Okay. Alright. Avoid the truck. Got me over thinking like, oh, there are trains? But no, it's just got the same concept as subway surfers because you're traveling in like three different lanes. But instead of it being on the railroad, it's literally on the road. So that's fun. Okay, avoid getting hit. Avoid getting hit. Just get your coins. Over if you can get 160 coins. Let's see if we can make that up any higher. Maybe we get that double coins thing. But honestly, the whole reason why I'm even doing this video is just something a little random. Let's see if we can make it past our goal. Actually, now that I say that, I didn't really have a goal in mind. I'm just playing this just to play it, see how far I can get within running and stuff. And... For some reason, my best result... Okay, so it looks like we travel into another portal of trees. Okay, so my best result, it just keeps on going downwards for some reason. Like the, uh, the score, it keeps going backwards rather than upwards for some reason. Ooh, ooh. All right, that's hot. Anyways, like I was saying, the more I travel down further with running and stuff, my, uh, my score goes down or like whatever it's called. All right, let's see what we got here. Got this chest right here that I picked up. Okay, I got different stuff in here. I don't know. What it's really for, uh, I can get another chest right here, so it's like two different stuff I can get. Or, actually, no, three for this one, okay. Cool, uh, we're just gonna ignore that. Apparently, this is one of these games where you can do daily missions. Okay, so there's, we can get upgrade a jetpack. Okay, so yeah, this is literally something like Subway Surfers and, you know, Temple Run. And then there's, like, the different characters you get. You can OD, okay, normal, I gotta remember the characters' names. And then we got Pirate Skin, Office Worker, Dress... Explorer, Adventure, Garfield, Cowboy, Normal Cowboy, Iron, Cock, okay, Navy, Zaro, Esport Boy, Robot, Vampire, Diver, okay, so it looks like we can only play as these three different characters, it's not really showing me the different characters that you can play as, but ignoring that, uh, Going back to the maps, apparently there's different areas you can get. So, um, this one area that you're standing by, I think this is where we're running at. Uh, we could always upgrade these, but we're not going to at the moment. And then there's, like, different areas you can get, blah, blah, blah. Uh, West Desert, V-Nice, Relic World, Great Wall, and then Stay Tuned. I'm pretty sure that's something we have to lock along the line. But I could really care less. Right now we have Marion Town, so what if I just upgrade this whole sort of area what happens if i do that i mean it seems like i have enough money actually no now that i say it, i just dropped down to 785 so it looks like i can upgrade this one more time and then and then what we get this little pizza place what happens after that i mean not that i really care but uh never mind about that let's just get on with this <laughs> get back to what we were doing beforehand get your lasagna stolen by this goofy old yee yee cat right here and then, uh, oh, hold on, I think the best result thing is for, like, other people within the game. Uh, the picture of it shows you, like, how much more, uh, results you can get better than anyone else within the game. I don't really know, that's just an assumption. Most of it's just me assuming, so I don't really know. But usually on this, okay, so never mind, our high score is on the very... Top right, ignoring the ad at the very top right there. Oop. And then, uh, we have the different coins that we've collected. Okay, ignore that that just happened. I just got completely distracted. Oh, hold on, what's this area here? Okay, so, uh, apparently there's different areas that you can not... Okay, so that's what this whole map building is for. And so you can get to different areas for, like, different maps to run around in. Alright, cool. Well, great, um... Enough of me assuming with stuff, I'm just taking back guesses, you know, by context clues around the game, so ignore even that. But let's see how much farther we can get rather than this, uh, best result person over here with the picture of Odie right there. So our high score is, uh, at the five times thing, the five times number with the 
uh, uh, stars with the X in the middle. And then, you know, uh, below that we got our coins that we're collecting, how much we have, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I got confused with the whole thing. The best result, and then, you know, our score. Like, wait, what's going on? Oh, crap, I just missed that two times. Coins button. That's freaking amazing. Alright, we zoom in. Don't really know what we're running after at this point. Like, bro. Oh, you stole my lasagna, and hey, I'm coming after you. Alright, cool. Ooh, we just got a whole group of freaking coins there. How amazing is that? Alright, now what? Let me get this... And then we got this little spiral thing that you go around in. I mean, of course, we got that before, but... Wait, what the... H hello? What, what were we supposed to do there? Oh, we're supposed to jump. I'm stupid. Okay, I am so sorry about that, you guys. Uh, no more distractions. Let's just continue on with this. In this one area that we're only ever gonna get to on video. I mean, if I do decide to play this off-camera... I probably won't let you know about it. I'll probably just play it at random, but if not, then it's not like it's really going to matter either way if I play it off camera because I'm never going to do a video off of it ever again. This is just something completely random. You know, just a little nostalgic Rush game. And uh, literally, Rush is in the name of it, so, you know, it's one of those games. Running games. Nostalgic Rush. Actually, now that I say this, I don't really know how old this game is. Like, I just randomly seen it while looking through games to play. Not even thinking about whether or not I wanted to do a video. Just, you know, play it as out of boredom. And, you know, I seen this. I'm like, hmm, I wonder, should I get this game? And then, you know, I decided to do I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to do a video off of this because why not? All right, uh, watch out for these pillars popping up. Or pylons, whatever you want to call them. And then, oop. Careful, oop. Okay, I almost just ran into that pile. No, no, no. We were supposed to jump upwards. Okay, let's try that again. No more distractions. We gotta stop doing that little little jump, spin, whoop, whoop. Whatever thing we just did just a second ago. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use these things on the side right here. Ooh. Ah! Okay, sorry about that, guys. A little bit of technical difficulties, and, you know, people talking blah, 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 blah. Okay, ignoring that. Uh, let's just continue on through. Let's see if we can actually get it any further than what we've gotten the last few tries. Okay. Oh, man, there's freaking bags of change right there. I can't even get them. All right, let's just move on through to this portal right here with the trees. I don't know. What the difference is between the trees and the leaves and, you know, all that What the f... Literally, what the fuck? Okay, um, as I was saying, I don't really know what the difference between the trees and the leaves portals are, but I'm pretty sure that's something you get as you, uh, build up the different town thing. Whatever you call it. But I don't really know. There's just portals you can jump on through. Uh, the two ones that we've seen so far, if there's even any more in it, are the trees and the leaves. So, yeah, that's friggin' amazing. Okay, no more distractions. Just keep on running. Don't end up in a messy situation where you run into either a vehicle or into the wall or just something random that's blocking the way. Okay. We are fine. We are calm. We are collected. I think, at least. For now. <laughs> Alright, let's get the two times coin and then go through this portal with the trees. Alright, great. Dang, not only did we get the, get the two times coins, but we also got double with the little spiral thing around with the coins floating up in the air after we grabbed the uh, magnet. And of course, I missed something back there. I'm pretty sure it was another two times thing for coins, but I couldn't really tell you. Be careful. Okay, you just gotta pay attention. That's all. And don't go blanking out. Okay, so that's what I missed out on. This star with the two in it. I don't know if that's like two times stuff you can get? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's just keep on going. Grab the magnet, and now we're headed on out from this little 
area. Okay, you just gotta be careful. Don't run into the freaking vehicles up on ahead. I mean, real question is, why are we even running in the street anyways? And also, I just noticed that we have these little jumpy jump shoes. I didn't even realize I've collected these beforehand. Like, I just realized these little purple ball things that we have on the bottom of our shoes I've had before and I didn't even notice. Ooh, and of course, I ran right smack into the screen. Alright, so what do we have so far? Um, we've got the score. 16095. Okay, so we're gonna try to go one last time. Uh, best believe you guys, this won't be the last video I ever do on a running game, so. Remember to stay tuned for something like that. Like, for example, we might do a video on Om Nom Run, which is uh, the little character from Cut the Rope. So, yeah, there's that. But, um, anything else in plan at the moment? Uh, no, not really. That's all I really have in mind right now. Of course, there will be more games, but even still then, I just don't have them in plan right now. And, you know, it's the whole purpose for Nostalgic Rush videos. Videos that are... Nostalgic that can uh, contain old games me playing them and you know there's all that sort of stuff or you know just Videos with Old stuff from a blast to the past featuring it with it, you know just stuff like that. All right Let's keep on going and going and going Ooh, two times coolings. I just missed half of that little Jump of it too bad. I didn't have any Magnet on me right now at the moment. <sighs> oh, now I get the freaking magnet. And I don't even have the freaking two times thing anymore. Just a magnet. Like, great. Just great. Am I right? No! Ooh, ooh. Okay. I just did a smack and freaking run. Okay. I'm good on that. Alright. Oh, two times now. Where's the magnet when you need him? Like, why is it all of a sudden I lose my magnet and then I get the two times coins thing? Like, what is the deal with that? See, look, look. There's a freaking... There's a magnet right here. See, what is the deal with that, you guys? Is that there for... On purpose? Or is it just randomized? Like, the fuck? Alright. Well, uh, ignoring that. Don't run to the wall. Or do run into the wall and forget any of that happened, but you know, whatever. I don't think it's really any higher that we can get our score up to. Uh, but from what that we can see here... Wait, what is our high score at the moment? I'm so confused. Hold on. Does this show? Oh, no, my bad. Hold on. Uh, hold on. What is it? Okay, so what's our high score as of right now? Does it show? Okay, so we're player 5642905. We are level 5, our score is 16095, that's our highest one, so that's all we could really get it up to, guys. So, uh, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, comment down in the comments below some video ideas, and I will see you all in the next one, which will possibly be a, either Among Us video or a live stream, but either way, uh, it's going to be in a random order with that either a live stream then an among us video or an among us video then a live stream but just stay tuned to figure that out cuz yeah all right bye guys I told you that I'm leaving.